Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Blue Eddy EP500 Pro. This portable power station has 5,100 watt hour. This is a lithium ion phosphate battery and 3,000 watt each unit. So this is 3,000 watt and this one's 3,000 watt. Right now, I have them connected together using the hub and now I can get 240 volts. So I can get 240 volts out of this thing. Each one, 3,000 watts come into my transfer switch so these are awesome when it comes to backup power so if you want to if you know you're going to be losing power and you just want to get all your essential loads that's what i have over here all my essential loads i still have my main breaker panel right here so i don't have to shut off my main in order to run my transfer switch i can just hook this up to my portable power station in the event that we do lose power my refrigerator my lights, my outside lights, my garage doors, my gate, entrance gate, all that will still work. So I can come into my home and push my garage door, it will open, open my gate because this thing right here, once you lose power, it will switch over to the battery. And one thing I like about this unit is that you can do that. I have a plug right here. I can actually plug it to this and it will use the UPS feature and shut the, uh, once the power shuts off, it will switch to the uh, grid and power all my essential loads. Guys, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna have this thing run all night. We did this with last test with the EcoFlows and we got down to right about 38%. One thing I like about this ones is they don't have the extra battery, all that extra stuff. Everything's in one unit. You do need two to get 240 volts but everything is in one unit. I wanna go through some of the uh, specifications and settings with this one. All right, so we go to settings and next. You come right here. So right now we're in split phase mode and we can go to standard guys look at all the settings you have right here you have standard ups time controlled ups which would you could tell it like what time to switch from the grid to battery you have pv priority ups that means your solar panels are going to take priority over the uh ac grid and then you can do a customized ups you can customize when it comes on when it goes off everything so cool that you can do all this in the EP500 Pro. So another thing I can do, it has uh, this cable right here, AC cable, a Y cable, and I can come here and plug this to a generator. So I have it plugged into a generator. If this thing goes down low or you're pulling a lot of power, you can remote start your generator it will automatically switch from the generator power to power your loads, all right? Let's get out of here. Let's go back home. Another thing that's pretty cool about the Blue Eddy is the app. These are Wi-Fi uh, capable, okay? So you come right here, you can control this and monitor your uh, power stations from anywhere in the world because you can use this on Wi-Fi. Mine is Wi-Fi connected. You can turn on your AC and check everything, your status, where your PV is coming in, and everything. Another thing I like about this is, uh, unlike the uh, other ones, your panels will support your battery to 100% all the time. So it depends on where your, um, depend on where your battery is, that's how much solar you'll pull in. Yeah, that's another thing. I have um, this is the solar panels I have right here. So it's four 325 watt solar panels. The sun's going down. So we're going to run this test all night. I want to see where I get to by morning. So we're already at 98%. I'm pulling 368 watts. And on this one, I'm pulling 218. So, split split phase, 
This one's powered by here, and that side is powered by this guy. We're gonna see how long we go through the night. I'm gonna let it run. I'll come back right now. It's right around uh, 6.30. So we're gonna check it out. I'll come back at 10, and then in the morning about six o'clock, seven o'clock. So that will be a full night, and we'll see where we get our battery to. If you are trying to get the Blue Eddy EP500, I'm just giving you a demonstration to see how it would work for you. I want you to see what would happen if you run this all night. All right? And this is the hub that gives you the split phase 240. One thing I have to say about the EP500 Pros, they are absolutely quiet. Let's see if I can come real close to this fan. So quiet and I just like the way they are. Um, you don't have to mess with all the extra batteries and they have all their power right inside of them. 5,100 watt power. It's a huge heavy unit hard to move around but it has to be probably one of my favorites okay so it's right at 11 and I don't know if you can see this but it's at 71% on the left one and 84% on this one right here this one goes on and off um, that 275 that's my refrigerator so that's why but every time the refrigerator comes to temp it will shut off to zero so that's the only thing left on this one is the refrigerator and this one i think most of it are the ceiling fans so it's pulling 120 watts all right next time you see it it'll be seven in the morning all right so we made it to the next morning it's right about 6.45 right now. And this one's at 39%. And come over here and this one's at 68%. It's pulling 222 watts. This one's pulling 237 watts. 39%, 68%. come outside you can see it, the sun's coming up right over here almost let's see how long it takes before we get some power I'm probably saying probably another two hours if it's 645 right now uh, it probably take about another two hours before we get some sunlight to even get the solar panels charging anything all right guys so we're gonna let this thing keep running let's see how long it takes before we get solar so it's 6 45 right now and i think we'll probably start seeing solar about eight this thing's gonna run and we'll see how fast it takes to recharge i just wish there was a way i could link the two batteries together that way they're always maintaining the same charge or this one can charge that one if like this one's at 39 percent this one's at 68%. I wish I could just link them together with through some port, keeping the batteries at the same percentage charge so they run together. If you keep going like this and this one dies before this one, one shuts off, you lose all your power. So I just wish there was a way you could link them together so they would uh, charge off each other. But I don't think I can. That would be nice. All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock on the dot, 6.59. And you can see the solar panels are starting to flash on and off. They're not pulling anything, but you can see the little light starts flashing. So, see the sun's coming up. And not a, not a lot of light, but they're starting to see the light from the sun. Getting power a little earlier than I thought. This one's at 38% and the solar panels, once they start getting any wattage from them, I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, it's right at 748 
and we're finally getting 34 watts in this one this one's pulling in 36 37 down to 36 percent one thing i want to show you guys is how the uh generator would work so i have the generator over there in standby mode um with my remote control inside i'll show you guys once you start the generator it will start fast charging let's show you that right now since we can make some noise all my load has switched to the generator so i'm pulling 300 from the generator and the battery is just focusing on charging so what you guys what you guys can do is run this all night quiet in quiet mode just pulling power from your battery and then in the daytime or the morning time start your generator get back to 100% real quick and you're ready for the next night if you know you have a lot of sun like today we don't have a lot of sun because it's gonna storm later on so I'll just get my solar I'll get my batteries charged up with the generator and I'll be ready for the night once it get up to about 80%, the solar panel will take over and it can go all the way up. But I wanna make sure it's full charge, ready for the night. Pulling 1,200 watts. Pulling 1,150 watts. All right guys, that's it. I'm not gonna run this all day. I'm gonna let it full charge. Already up to 41% and it's 803. 803, 69%. We're pulling right at 1,800, fluctuating. And this one, the same thing, fluctuating from 1,800. You can go on here, go to the settings. And you can change your, uh, but you need a code for Blue Eddy. They lock the amperage, so you can't do it. I have the code, so I'm at 15 amps. This one, 15 amps. You see, it's locked. You have to have a special code from customer service to be able to put it up. If I want to bump it up to 20 but I don't want uh, I don't want to make too much noise out here so I'm just going to stay at 15 amps between the two that pulls right at 30 amps so nice easy charge generator down you just use a remote and it just
it shuts the grid down. You can see it goes down right here. Solar is still coming in. Switches to the power. Back to battery. And you can have your peace and quiet back. Thank you.